Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today it's one of the most exciting reviews of the whole year. It's the 2022-2023 launch of the Erin Condren Life Planners. This year's themes are color blends, in bloom, which is like the little sister of Flora from last year that was such a big hit, and Harmony, which comes in this colorful version and also in a neutral version, which I will show you in a bit. I don't have a cover in the neutral Harmony. But we're going to start right here with this planner because if you follow me at all, you know that I'm a binder girl. And since the um, binder was introduced by Erin Condren, I have used the hourly binder and I've also used the vertical binder. This year, I have bad news and good news. So the bad news is... The binder is only going to come in daily, and it's only going to come in Harmony Colorful, I think. I'm not 100% positive on that, on that, but I think Harmony Colorful is going to be the only option. The good news is that it's gorgeous. So the binder is the same as it has been for the last few years. I love the texture, the feel of this binder. It's, it's not really textured, it's a feel. It's like this kind of rubberized, smooth feel that makes a terrific writing surface. You can get your initials or the year, I think up to four characters embossed on the front. And so I have my initials. And then the inside is exactly like a seven by nine version of the daily life planner. So you get a vellum sheet and I think this one's gorgeous. In the Neutral Harmony, which I do have the insides of Neutral Harmony, and I'm going to show you that, these colors will be way more muted and light. Your inside pages will come in a wrapper, and then you add them to the binder. One of the two packs that you receive has the vellum in it. And so this is July through December, and what it looks like on the inside is this. You've got the colorful Harmony collage. This to me looks like tissue paper in a collage. And it's, I love it. I absolutely love colorful Harmony. And since this is a daily duo, you only get six of the 12 months. The other pack will have the other six months. So you've got six months worth of kind of year at a glance or half year at a glance, starting with July 2022, going to December 2022. And then you've got an entire year here. So you can do some future planning. Here's what your monthly tabbed quote page looks like. Deep, beautiful colors here. So it says your potential to succeed is infinite. If we go to August, a goal without a plan is just a wish. If we go to September, follow your passion and ignite your potential. October, imagine the possibilities if you were brave enough to try. Ooh, I like that one. November, forever cherish every moment with those you love. This color is knockout right here. And then December is focus on the potential for greatness, not the possibility of failure. Okay, so the daily layout is... Well, it comes after the monthly layout. So here's the month view. And this will be the same whether you get a daily planner or a weekly planner, whether you get vertical or horizontal or what have you. The only difference will be in the theme that you choose. This is colorful harmony, neutral harmony. I'm going to show you that's a little different. And then here is your notes page for the month, your dashboard for the month. And it's got little bits of the harmony collage in the July color scheme. This is a four checklist area. This is a lined area and this is dot grid and this is open. What I do with this is I put my book of the month here. I put four household or financial tasks here and then the opposite one, household or financial tasks there. And then I have a goal or a theme for the month. And here is the daily layout. So if you have used the daily duo before, you're going to notice that this is not different. This looks the same to me. The little calendar is on every page. Some people love this. Some people hate this. It's easy enough to cover with a sticker. The reason I like it is because it tells me what month I'm in. You know, it only says third and Sunday or the date and the day of the week. I need to know what month I'm in <laughs> because sometimes I forget. All right, now here's a new thing to get excited about. 
There's a notes page after Sunday every single week. This was such a huge request that Erin Condren listened. So this means that all of your Mondays are going to be on the left. Tuesdays are always going to be on the right. You know, without that notes page, it went back and forth. It alternated each week. Now, this is where I have, I've always added my own notes page. And what I do is I separate it into two sections. I use the top for brainstorming, ideas, to-dos. I use the bottom section for gratitude. However, you might want to use this as a weekly overview since there is no weekly overview in a daily planner. So that would be another option. And I bet you some sticker shops are going to come up with some options to decorate that notes page. And the to-do font, this is the same font, I think, that was in the mid-century circles version of the Life Planner last year. It looks the same to me. Okay, so this is going to be the same every week, a notes page after Sunday. Yay, that's good news. Okay, so I said I had good news and bad news. So what am I going to do? I mean, you might not be interested in that, but since I've used the weekly, hourly, or vertical binder the whole time that the binder's been available... What I think I'm going to do is switch over from using my agenda for my daily, which is what I did last year, and just switch to a binder for the daily because I love this binder. I think it's so pretty. There's one thing I don't like about binders, and I bet you know what it is if you've used the binders before. When you close it, the pages will stay underneath those rings. You'll have to maneuver the pages. Even closing it this way is not guaranteed to be perfect because the pages will not want to slide out the way they need to for a good close. But this is an easy fix. You need page lifters. I always tell this to all my community of people. If you do the binder, the page lifters are a game changer. So hang on, we're going to grab some. Here we are. So this is what page lifters look like. You've got an interchangeable cover, basically. You can order this from Erin Condren. This one I cut down from an 8.5 by 11 size. I've also done many with the seven by nine size, but I just wanted this one to come out a little bit further so that it covered the tabs. So what you do is you cut holes. It's I have a, a tutorial on how you can do this. I'm not gonna really go into it right now, but you cut holes this shape, this oblong shape. You put one in the front and then you put one in the back. And voila, now your pages will move out from underneath the rings and you've got an easy close. It's just a game changer. You totally don't even want to do the binder unless you make page lifters, in my opinion. Now, there's some people who probably just leave them open and they don't care that they have to kind of maneuver the pages like that. Without page lifters, this is what you do. You just maneuver the pages to the center of the rings and then shut it. So, you know, it's not a huge deal, but I like to be able to just close it quickly. So page lifters, I recommend that. Now let's look forward and see what we get at the end of December. Maybe nothing, because this is just half of the daily duo. And at the end, it looks like there is one notes page here kind of half, a little bit more than half of a notes page here, some additional holidays that you may wish, wish to add to your planner. So that's it for the end of this, and then you close it. Now, each life planner that is in a binder, a daily um, life planner, I recommend two accessories right off the bat. For one thing, I would order an interchangeable cover. My preference is to order an eight and a half by 11 size cover, then cut it down and punch these holes. Watch my tutorial and you'll be able to whip some up in a flash. The other thing I recommend that you get is these page protectors. Erin Condren sells these and well, I won't take the pictures out, but this is one of my page protectors. Um, I'm a bird lover, so I like to take you know, bird pictures and put my favorite ones in these page protectors sometimes. You can also store stickers in these. They are such high quality. You know, if you've ever gotten the teacher lesson planner, it has one or two page protectors in it, depending on, you know, what you order, maybe up to three. It's that same thick quality. So you can use these year after year after year. It's This is not your run-of-the-mill plastic here. This is a thick 
um, you know, clear page protector. Here's another thing I do with the page protectors. Here's my old neutral kaleidoscope binder, which by the way, is one of the only ones, maybe the only one that came with silver hardware. I did put a page lifter in this also. This one was cut down from a very old cover designs from Erin Condren. Um, you can see the difference in the size. It's a seven by nine cut down. So I cut off the coiled edge, punched these holes. It does not come out as far. So if you do order an interchangeable cover to make your page lifters, keep that in mind. You could totally do it with seven by nine, but eight and a half by 11, you can make it just the perfect fit. So here's more of those page protectors, sheet protectors. I use them for sticker storage. They fit the larger Erin Condren sticker sheets perfectly, like this kind. And this kind, these are some that I cut down from the back of my teacher lesson planner. And this kind, they just are a great sticker storage possibility for you. So I do recommend at least getting one pack. I think they come with three. And, you know, that's a great starter pack. You might not want to do this much unless maybe they're running a sale on them. But that's just one thing you can do. Page protectors and grab yourself an additional cover. I'm probably going to, on launch day, order a matching interchangeable cover that coordinates with this. So I'm probably going to get a colorful harmony on an interchangeable cover. This one's Star Wars, which I love also, but just to really make it matchy-matchy. And I'm gonna try to get an eight and a half by 11. Hopefully that will be available and cut it down to make my page protector for my new daily binder. You know what, I just noticed something. So before we stop with the binder, I looked at the other pack, but the second pack actually comes with the pocket. So let's just take this out so we can look at what the Colorful Harmony pocket looks like. All right, this is very pretty. It's nice with the gold accents because on this one, on the binder, you don't get gold accents. So look at that. Very nice. So you get like your warmer tones on the back, your cooler tones on the front. And this will fit in here, even though it's punched for the coiled version. If you start with the second one, I think that's how this works. Start with the second one. It is going to be a tight fit. So this is not how I do it. I'll, I'll show you how I do it. You can do this. And I think with if I took my page lifters out and put it back in my current binder, but when you put the page lifter behind this, it does make this turn more easily, but see how snug that is? So this is not how I do it. I actually either, I've done it a couple of ways, but you can actually just punch these holes to be a little bit bigger. You'll have to mark which ones they are. And then another option is to trim off this coil, punch some thick paper perfectly to go with this, and then just attach it with some adhesive, that's another possibility for how to use this pocket. But I just want you to know that as is, and especially if you're not somebody who opens and closes the binder a lot, this will be fine because it does fit on there. Oh, this was important. I'm glad I looked at this other pack. Okay, four sticker sheets. Okay, I was wondering about that. I thought maybe they discontinued it. So you're gonna get this, you're gonna get this if you order the Daily Duo binder version. So here's the first sticker sheet in the collage Harmony version. Okay, so you can see little hints of the pattern up there. And then the pattern itself is in gold here. That looks like confetti. That's super cute right there. All right, and this one is, this is the same, I think, as what we had last year, except the pattern has been updated to be this year's. So there are important rescheduled today, canceled, um, and then some habit trackers and a bunch of these cute little asterisk dots that you can just add a little pop to draw attention to something on your calendar. And here are some celebrate and birthday stickers. You can use these for any sort of celebration that you like. And they're all, um, they're not solid colors. I think maybe last year these were solid colors, um, but they are in the harmony pattern. And then the last one is my favorite, the event stickers. So these are rounded corners. I'll take the edge of one off so you can see. These are the standard Erin Condren event stickers that do have rounded corners and they are accented with rose gold. I'm gonna show you this, but this is not how I do it. When I do my move-in video, or you can even check last year's move-in video to see how I do it. But it will fit. 
one sheet at a time would be easier than how I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. So, you know, it's not super tight, but it's snug. It's not going to see that. I mean, it, it'll maneuver, but it's just not the greatest fit. It will work. It's just not the greatest fit. See what I'm saying? All right, so you do get four sticker sheets. You also get like your little welcome package. So you do get actually two coupons for 20% off and they will have a unique code. So that's why I'm covering up the coupons themselves. You can use them both for yourself or you can share one with a friend. Then you get one, two, three. Okay, oh look, and it's, it's all the patterns except it's not color blends. You get um, in bloom here, and this says, even when it seems impossible, continue to believe in yourself. And this is Harmony Neutral. You are beautiful, capable, and worthy. And then this is Harmony Colorful. Follow your passion and ignite your potential. So these are just cute little cards that you can pass on a little bit of love to somebody. And then the gift labels are one in color blends, just a little something from, and then you can sign it. And then this is the OG kind, except look, that metallic is holographic. And I don't think the ones last year were holographic. I think they were possibly metallic, but not holographic like that. And I'm tilting it, so hopefully you can catch the shimmer of that. And this is gold metallic here. You do get four sticker sheets and you do get a pocket and you get a perpetual calendar. Here it is. It is just a, like an ice blue and it says plan for tomorrow, celebrate today. And it's very simple. It is a perpetual calendar that has the dates of the month listed in list format. So I have one of these that I use for birthdays. I have one that I use for routines where I actually just blotted out the whole top of it and wrote a routine on it. You can use these in any creative way that you want. You could do like shopping lists, like especially if you have a menu plan that you rotate. So you could maybe use this for a grocery list for one month and this is a grocery list for another month. I don't know, any creative way that you want to. And in the back, there is space for some contacts. You could put passwords in here if you want to. This is something that would be helpful if you kept it in the back pocket and you took your planner with you and you need to jot down somebody's information, then that's a great place to do that. And here is a look at everything together. This is what you will receive, except you'll have two packs instead of one. I've just already put one pack inside the binder. Okay, so what am I going to do about my weekly planner? That's next. Here's what I chose. All right, so guys, I've used the binder for so long, it's going to be weird to go back to the coil. I never disliked the coil, I just loved the binder. So I'm okay with going back to the coil for my weekly planner. So the one that I chose, looks like it's gonna be colorful, doesn't it? Okay, I actually opted for a vegan leather cover because I just, love the vegan leather covers that Erin Condren has been coming out with lately on notebooks. And you can get your initials or the year, any four characters on the front embossed. The coil planner comes with a ruler. As far as I know, the binder does not. I did not see one with mine. And the vegan leather cover is a permanent cover. Unless you decide you're tired of it, you could clip it off and go to interchangeable covers if you want to. All right, so inside I chose Neutral Harmony, or uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called, Neutral Harmony. It's the same collage, but now you can see the colors are toned down. And that's because I love to get creative in my planning, and I like to make my own sticker kits and order sticker kits and decorate my planning. So I wanted to have a neutral palette to do that on. I did go with the hourly layout, that's my favorite. And here is a look at what the Harmony design looks like in the neutral color palette. And this is 18 months. You can choose 12 months or 18 months. And I'm probably going to take the last six months and I'm going to um, remove them and just have a larger coil than I need because this will bulk up with my sticker kits. And I will get a new planner in a year. So. I will probably take out six of the months. So I kind of recommend that anyway, even if you don't need 18 months to go ahead and get 18 months. It's 
a few dollars more, I think, but it's worth it to get that bigger coil. And you'll also have six months of pages that you can just kind of experiment with before you move into your planner on the start day of July 1st. Okay, so this one has 12 total boxes. You can use these for anything. Many people use them for months of the year and they put kind of projects for each month or birthdays for each month. You can also make each one a different category or a different goal itself. And you can put some tasks or deadlines for yourself under each one. This is a clean slate, open slate. You can do anything you want to with this. One year I even used it as kind of a scrapbook thing. And I love bird photography and I would choose my best bird photo of the month and print it out on a scale that I could cut down to fit in the box perfectly. That was lots of fun. Okay, and then we go right into July. There's a notes page on the left. Then your tabbed page is much less colorful than it is in the colorful version of Harmony. The quote is the same though between colorful and neutral Harmony. Here's what the monthly spread looks like. Much less color and you do not get the collage up here. So in the colorful version, you've got little pieces of the collage up here, not in the neutral version. And I know a lot of people will appreciate that if they use sticker kits and they have like a header that is not quite that big, they don't have to worry about whiting out or covering the design that's already on the page. You've got some standard holidays on every monthly spread and you'll have some additional holidays, I think, in the back of the book. So here is a notes page here, then your dashboard page. This one does have the Harmony design all the way up to the edge, so keep that in mind as you make your selection. The layout of this page is the same as in the colorful version that we've looked at. And then the hourly view, this is what I like, totally neutral. So I can change up my color scheme every single week if I want to, for that matter, every single day <laughs> if I want to. We're still going to have the same look here with the month and the year. I appreciate that, although now that it's neutral, I won't be covering it up as much probably. There is a mini calendar down here in the corner. This just bugs people. Uh, not me. I mean, sometimes I do cover it up. It doesn't really bug me, but it's there. So just FYI, we start at 6 a.m. and we go down to 7 p.m., but there is an extra box here that you can make 8 p.m. or dinner plans or your gratitude of the day or anything that you want. I often just uh, slap a sticker across the bottom. I slap a sticker across the 6 a.m. part because I don't schedule anything there. And I put the meat of my day, the meat of my schedule here. Saturday and Sunday are full value days. So that is important to many people who have just as busy a weekend as they do traditional work days. All right, so here's what it looks like. You've got holidays written up at the top and they're kind of small print. If you don't celebrate any particular holiday, you can cover it with a sticker, ignore it, white it out, whatever you like. And then when we go into the next month, there's a notes page. It looks like this little logo has changed color. So it's going to match this August one. So this is kind of a mauve or mauve. What do you say, mauve or mauve? Same color scheme here in August, not the traditional Erin Condren colors because um, August is normally like a mustard yellow and same little colored asterisk kind of design there. Same dashboard. So all of this is the same. I'm just kind of flipping through to show you. And the paper is the same high quality as last year. And it's got that new paper smell that I love. So Mohawk Mills is the American company that manufactures this paper and coiled life planners are hand coiled in the United States. There's plenty of products from Erin Condren that are imported, but this is something that is made in the United States. The paper and the assembly of the coil planner itself is all done in the United States, which is really nice. And then, um, so, even though we turn the September tab, okay, it says August here because most of this is August. We start September there. And then from then on, it's going to say September. All right, so here's November's color scheme in Harmony. That's what it looks like there. It's kind of, This is really pretty. It's a cool, not aqua, it, I'm going to call it a Wedgwood blue. I don't know what Erin Condren calls it. I'm going to call that Wedgwood Blue. 
It's a greenish, bluish, grayish. And there is the monthly view, just a tiny bit of color, a little bit more color on the dashboard. All these are the same look. And December is this beige color or sand color. Same color scheme here. January is, is it the same as what we had in June? I mean, in July, yes, it looks like it to me. So it looks like we go one, two, three, four, five months, and then we maybe loop around to the same color again. So January is the same color as July. And then February is the same as September, because we've just circled back around. And then March is this pretty kind of lavender with a, it's a cool lavender. There's a grayish um, quality to it. Beautiful. I'm, I'm very pleased with this look. I like this neutral look. And it's a coil, yes, I will have to get used to that. But I was used to it before, I can get used to it again. This is so pretty. This is the this is like an ice blue. Did we have that before? Wait a minute. Yeah, October was the icy blue. Okay, so April is the icy blue, and May is back to what I call Wedgwood blue. It's more of a greenish, grayish blue. Then this sand color for June. And then at this point, I'll be finished with this planner because it will be 12 months. I use an academic year planner. So I can take out a great deal of bulk. I can, and I'm not recommending that you do this. You just can do it if you want. I can take out this much. And that's just going to make my coil that much more able to handle the bulk that I add throughout the year, whether it's with coil clips or sticker kits or anything, invitations, it is just going to give me that extra coil size that I need. And then I didn't go through every single month after that because we've done 12 months now, right? So it's going to start again with the same colors. In July, it's back to that peach. All right, now here are the sticker sheets. And let me hold this up to you. This is one thing that I wasn't able to do in the binder. I can fold this back on itself. That's pretty cool. So I am looking forward to going back to that. It looks like we have silver foiling in the neutral harmony, all the same shapes, but there's a difference here. These stickers are less busy. You don't get that confetti look um, that we had in the colorful version. And you do get the pattern here. You get the pattern there, but it's in softer hues. But these are solid colors. Um, I think they, I don't know, can't remember now. But I know that we had the gold confetti look um, on those stickers in the colorful version. And then it's the to-do, rescheduled, today um, page with the habit trackers at the bottom and the little asterisks, still silver foiling. And I have a gold coil, I didn't mention this, but your coil can be your choice of color. You don't have to get gold. I love yellow gold, but you can get platinum and you can get rose gold. I don't know if you can get black this year. That remains to be seen. I'm gonna have to check that out on launch day. Um, now we've switched to gold metallic here on the celebrations page. Okay, that is gold metallic, same designs, but these are plain solid colors here. That's different than the colorful version. And then the event stickers look like this, and this is rose gold metallic. So you get the same number of stickers, they just have a different look, and look at the pocket. The colorful Harmony Pocket was gorgeous, but this one has silver metallic. Also comes with the perpetual calendar. That will be exactly the same as what we saw with my daily colorful Harmony binder. And this color is the same as the interior of the binder. This is gorgeous. It's like, I would call this mint. It's beautiful. And my vegan leather cover on the back looks the same as on the front. Now, if you were to choose this vegan leather cover, and let's say that you went with rose gold or silver, 
uh, slash platinum, I think you could also choose to match that with the metallic of your choice here on your embossed initials or the year. Now, I have something brand new to show you that I'm super excited to dig into. Here we go. So the agenda is somewhat new. They came out with agendas for A5 size inserts last year. And the agendas actually improved halfway through the year. And I'll tell you why. Originally, the agenda had this faux suede feel right here, which I didn't mind, but they've changed it to a Saffiano texture. So it's very easy to wipe clean. And I know that some people really loved that. I think it was the Flora agenda that came out halfway through the year or so, and that's where they first noticed that this texture was different, okay? So this is the In Bloom theme. And before we dig inside to see what's in there, I just want you to see the agenda is a vegan leather cover. It feels terrific. I had two agendas last year. I mainly used my camel one. It held up, I mean, it's still holding up. It's great. It's like, you know, still looks like new. And my camel one did have that faux suede right here. That never really bugged me. There was one thing that tiny little bit bugged me about that faux suede was any little scrap of paper, it would kind of cling to that kind of um, faux suede. This will not do that. This is more of a smooth texture. Some new features inside. Look here. We've got an agenda specific ruler. This is super cool. I would have loved this for the binder. So maybe they'll come out with one for the binder. I don't know. But this is the same ruler, same kind of pliable plastic but it's punched for the agenda. I think that's a great new addition, great new feature. And it has gold rings. Now there are other agendas, maybe the others will have different hardware, but I, I don't know. Last year, I think they were all gold on the inside. But if you're kind of handy in any way, I have heard that it's not difficult to change out the hardware. You can order different metallic hardware if you want to. Here's your In Bloom vellum sheet and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful. This is an improvement over last year because last year I think the agendas just came with a plain vellum. So I'm so happy that they have put the flora design on the or in bloom design on the vellum. Okay so if I do say flora forgive me they are related. There's a lot of similarity like this font here this cursive font is something that's very similar to what was in flora and it might be exactly the same. This says, proud to say, made in the USA. All right, so that's talking about the guts of the planner. This is also from Mohawk Mills in the United States. And then here is the beautiful in bloom two-page spread. And it's just, it's beautiful. What a nice way to open the planner. And it coordinates so nicely with this kind of blush color right here. Very nice. On the outside, look, it's lavender, isn't it? It's blush on the inside. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, just a little fun tidbit. And then we've got a two page, it's 12 months. So um, we are looking at not a daily duo right now. If this were a daily duo, you would get like six months, okay? And then if this were a daily duo, you would get six of these boxes. But this is 12 boxes in this one. And then here's a notes page, and our first tab is July. Now, right off the top of my head, if I'm comparing the tabs in the Harmony Neutral, this seems the same and different. Some of it looks the same, like July peach, October this icy blue. November is more, I, I think it's a little different. I'm gonna say it's different and then we'll compare it, but I think it's a little bit different. Okay, so here is the adorable In Bloom monthly view. I say adorable because A5 paper is adorable to me. I think it's cute. It's just, you know, kind of miniaturized. And I mean, it's like big enough to do what you need to do in most cases, at least in my case. I shouldn't say most cases. Here's what the dashboard looks like. So the floral design does go all the way to the edge. Keep that in mind. It looks like maybe the only one that might not do that, and I don't even have that one now, is color blends. 
that's a possibility. So you're gonna have to check out a review video from someone who has the actual life planner in color blends. I have a monthly planner in color blends that we'll look at. I mean, it's like a petite monthly planner. Now, look at this new layout. This is called Compact Vertical. Brand new this year. So, I don't know how many times I have said, boy, aligned vertical sure would be nice. Like the vertical layout, the weekly layout, but with lines in it. So, this is not that, but it's still vertical. So, it's like they've given you the width of a column that you might have in the Daily Duo A5 size. And... They've turned the top half into a day, the bottom half into a day. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a clear space with a mini calendar in it. Now, this is the first time I would not like the mini calendar because I see my month right there. The mini calendar just helps me remember what month I'm in, so I don't really need that here. I will probably end up color covering this up. But you can just, this is a blank space. It's not lined or anything. It just has that little mini month in it. And beautiful colors right here. It's, I, it's not what I would call neutral. It's just light and fresh. So this is July. And I can't wait to see what the sticker shops come out with for this new compact vertical layout. I make stickers myself, so I will probably have fun experimenting with designing something new for the compact vertical. But if you have an A5 Daily Duo, a bunch of your stickers are gonna already work with this. All right, so August is this look right here. And it's very beautiful. We have four check boxes, lines here, totally blank, no design in this box. I'm just noticing that. Notes page on the left. And then we go into the next month. So these are beautiful. I'm gonna speed up now because we're getting the idea. Here's September, gorgeous. Now let's find out something. Last year, the quotes in Florida were different, not Florida. <laughs> The quotes in the floor design were different than the quotes in mid-century circles, and I think different than just my type. So let's compare. They're the same quote this year. I like that. I like that. So that's something new. You've got the same quote from theme to theme. And while I've got this here, let's just look at the colors. You can see how some of them are similar, like September and September, October and October. Very similar. But look at November here. Where's my, no here's my November. This is darker than this November. And December, totally different. Totally different. So it's not, it's a very similar color palette, but it's not exactly the same. So let's carry on. Here's September. That's my birthday month. I always am curious to see what September is like. And it seems like whether you're in colorful or neutral, September ends up purple. Isn't that funny? All right, October, I love this. And your weekly spread is like that. Beautiful, it's beautiful. The only thing I'm not loving is the mini month on the weekly spread. It's not a big deal to me. Now this color, wow, wow, do you see this? Love that color, wow. This is gorgeous. It's just the right combination of like an icy green mint with a darker version of it and a very dark, like a teal there. It's gorgeous. I love that color. December is gorgeous. You can see that going with Christmas um, kits and things, sticker kits or um, color coding um, with Christmas looking pens and things. I think that would look so pretty. Even just the font that they chose, like Christmas Day, along with this color scheme, that looks so classy, so pretty. And see where it says winter begins? I like that. All right, so here is January. And I said I would speed up, but I want you to really get a good look at the colors. February. And March. March looks just like September, in my opinion. Yeah, so let's see how many months it takes before we cycle around. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like this is a six month rotation. And now let me tell you something as we're flipping through here, you can just be observing the colors. But one thing that's cool about these agendas is you do not need page lifters. I don't know what it is about the agenda, but it closes perfectly every time. You do not need page lifters. And I'll show you how it closes um, when we get to the end. So now we've done a year's worth. This must be an 18 month. Yeah, this is an 18 month planner. And September is gonna be the same color as it was the previous year. And there you go. Let's see what's in the back of this. There's some stickers. Okay, so you get, did I not do this in my coiled LP? I think I need to go, go back and show you the back of that. But anyway, this has, well, why don't we do them side by side? Let's do that. They both have a tab that says notes, okay? So I've turned the notes tab. And in the coiled LP, so if we just count the sides, that might make it easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's it. Ten sides, okay, in the coiled LP. Over here in the vertical one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like the same thing. Ten sides. Okay, and then after that, there's a list of holidays. Um, here's the difference in how those look. Um, totally different font. Like, look at the close-up font here. See that? Totally different font. Different font. Okay. And then you get one Let's Keep in Touch page. This one has room for one, two times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get 18 places here. It just says name dot dot. So you can put any info about people here. It doesn't really have to be an address page because it doesn't say address, phone number, anything like that. Um, then you've got the same deal over here. Not sure if it's 18. One, two times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 16. All right, so you get 16 slots there. Then you've got this planning ahead for 2024. And same deal here, planning ahead for 2024. Under each calendar, three little checklist items that you can add, planning ahead and then some lines. So you've got like one, two, three, four, five, six lines here, a wider space, but more lines here. Isn't that funny? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. So that's interesting that you get more space down at the bottom, not as wide, but more lines. And then these pages say the same thing. What you think you can, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to read looking back and forth. What you think you create, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you become. Okay, cute. This one has an asterisk after it. This one does not. Now let's take a look at these stickers. Now last year, these stickers were like all white, which made everybody scratch their heads. This year they have color, which I appreciate. So this is very nice. I didn't understand the white stickers. All right, so there's just little circles up here. They have rose gold accents, little cute event stickers, little circles. These have um, parts of the flowers on them. And then some teardrop stickers, some more event stickers, but these are larger. Look at that. Those look like, let's see how big those are. They look like the inch and a half size. And they are, that's an inch and a half size, isn't that funny? Okay, and then larger circles down here. And then today, today, important, this week, and reminder. And then these are like very neutral gray flag stickers with rose gold accents. These are beautiful little circles with um, in bloom floral accents. Then a bunch of to-do headers. 
and you can see up close here what some of these flower stickers look like. And it appears to me that you get two sticker sheets, so not as many with this. No pocket page, but you know, you don't need it in the agenda because you've got pockets built in. So here is a pocket where you can actually put a notepad in here or a sticker book. You can also tuck something behind here. You can put sticky notes back there. You can do all kinds of good stuff. And you've got three pockets here that are kind of business card size. And the top one is very deep. So you could put something bigger than it, what it looks like. This one is going to hold the smallest thing, this pocket. That one is, is about the same size as this one, but the top pocket goes all the way down. Then this is another large pocket, and here is a pocket. Um, you can put a ruler in here. You can put a pen, a couple of pens, whatever you want to right there. Or you can put one of the long to-do list sticky note pads in there. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Erin Condren has these super cute, skinny and long sticky notes. Um, so you could actually, you know, put a pad of those in there if you like. There's all kinds of different designs. This is, I think, from the focused line, so it's very minimal looking. Okay, so stay tuned because I do have some new accessories to show you to go with some of these planners. So let's, first of all, before we get to accessories, take a quick look at color blends. And all I have in the color blends pattern at this point, I don't have a life planner, but I have the petite monthly planner. But this is the look of color blends and it's so pretty, so colorful. And I've seen pictures of this. Erin Condren has shared pictures of this. Um, so you can check out their pictures as well as other um, Erin Condren affiliates that may have gotten the color blends version. Um, but this is just the petite planner version of color blends and as far as I know the only thing color blends about it is the cover so let's just take a quick look at it to see um, this comes from the petite planner line um, which Erin Condren has this is color blends there you go so you start if you just look you can't really pin down where one color starts and another one ends it's really cool um, so in the life planner, I did notice that the colors in the color blends version kind of are gradient colors. They don't change to a different color like in a monthly view or a weekly view, but they do change to different shades of the same color. It's kind of like a, a gradient that either goes from dark to light or light to dark, and it's really pretty. Because at first glance when I looked at it, I thought it was exactly like Colorful Harmony in terms of, of that part of it, like headers and this sort of part on the monthly spread, but it's not, it's not exactly the same. It has gradient colors. And this is the traditional color scheme for Erin Condren. So orange for October, um, this teal for November, lime green for December. I don't really notice anything color blends about this particular planner other than those accents on the cover and that year at a glance that we saw. But we'll keep looking just to see. May is this pretty peach. June is green. These are the colors that we've come accustomed to for the colorful monthly planners with Erin Condren. And then this is an 18 month book. So this is gonna take us all the way to December, 2023. All right, and then we've reached the halfway point of the book. The rest of it is notes pages. So it's like a notebook. And you have, there's, an, there's more color blends right there when you look ahead to 2024, just the header. And then this is a color blends look there. And, but this is all just notes pages and the little asterisks change colors. Can you see that? So you get a variety of little colorful asterisks there. And that's a full half of the book that's notes pages. And you get a sticker sheet in this pocket. I think just this is very happy looking, right? This is very joyful looking. All right, so the colors here are pretty traditional standard for Erin Condren. I don't think anything is new about this. They could be a touch brighter, but than in the other petite planners, but I kind of doubt that. I, I feel like it's the same look, but if anything, it's a little bit brighter. Nice sturdy pocket here. 
and then that. So that's not a comprehensive look at color blends, but it's, a, it's enough to give you an idea. But definitely check out someone's review who has an actual life planner in color blends. Okay, let's dive into the accessories. Here's like a teaser. Okay, this is Colorful Harmony, and this is the ballpoint pen that comes in that pattern. And I love, even though I'm a gel pen girl, I love it when they have the matching pens, which they've done for the last several years. This is like gold hardware, gold accents, and the Colorful Harmony design. And it's just a ballpoint pen. I'm happy to do a little pen test with this, but it's just a plain ballpoint pen. So let's grab the, I've got a Hello Kitty notepad here. So this is the Colorful Harmony. It's black ink, ballpoint pen. It's writing nicely. Um, these are just always pretty to go with your planner. They're just, they're pretty. And so this is the Colorful Harmony version. I'm definitely um, going to take this out, probably not keep it in the box, but if you wanted to give this as a gift or if you're buying somebody a life planner and you want to just kind of add a little something nice with the gift, it just comes in such a nice box. And I have yet to figure out something that I can do with this cool box, but anyway, it comes in a great presentation box, but I generally just take mine out. Here is the in bloom version of that same pen design. Um, it comes in a in bloom, of course, box and really nice little box. And the hardware or accent metallic on this one is rose gold. And we'll test the pen the same way. And here's what it looks like. Very nice, pretty. It is pretty and it feels nice in your hand. So this one is in bloom. It's also black ink. Ballpoint. So that's how it writes. You know what? It's just a standard ballpoint pen. The great thing about ballpoint pens, though, I will say this, is that you can highlight over them and they don't smear the way that um, gel pens do. So a ballpoint pen is great, like in a budget planner. If you do like the uh, the Budget Moms highlighter method, um, a ballpoint pen would probably be better than a gel pen. So this is in bloom, and let's just kind of stack those things up with their respective planners. Is this gorgeous or what? So a nice gift to get these two things in combination or to get these two things, or the binder with this. Beautiful little combination gift. Sticker books, sticker books. Okay, so let's look at the Harmony version first. Here's the cover, and it is a designer sticker book. Every day can be a special occasion. And here's what the back of the book looks like. And let's just flip through it together. All right, ooh, look at these. These are super cute. Oh, it's just like little collage pieces that you can accent these are totally decorative, aren't they? Like, I wouldn't call this a functional sticker. It's a washi sticker. Oh, I could use a bunch of these. I think that's so cute. I think that's so cute. I'm usually a functional sticker person, but just kind of accenting your page with these little washi stickers, I think is so pretty. And they have gold metallic on them. Then here's a page that has silver or platinum metallic. These are functional, so you have a row of little asterisk circles, a row of the same thing here, and then you've got some larger circles with the collage pattern on them, and these stickers that look like file tabs to me. And if you have like the vertical planner, I think these make a nice header to the rounded edge of that box. But you can use this just as a plain old event sticker. It's just interesting because it's got two corners and then two rounded corners, like sharp corners and rounded corners. And then this page has rose gold metallic on it. There are half circles, more of the little circle asterisks, but in rose gold this time, more of the circles that have the collage pattern, and then some event stickers. And 
These are the larger stickers. I use these in my Daily Duo, actually, um, my A5 Daily Duo, because they're a larger size. And these are accented in yellow gold. Really nice. And since like you don't get a whole series of these, you just get a limited number of them, they might also be good on your notes pages for certain specific you know, topics or lists that you're working on. And then these are totally squared off. I don't think we've had these before. Event stickers. Like there's no rounded edge and there's no like um, flag sort of edge. It's just totally a rectangle. Totally a rectangle. Isn't that different? I like it. I like it. So these will be an inch and a half wide. And then you've got some accents. You could pair these with these, actually, if you wanted to. But they say important shopping list, dinner plans, and then that circles around again. Important shopping list, dinner plans. Look at this at the blues and greens. Same sticker layout, except now we have rose gold metallic and blues and greens. So pretty. And these say something different. Reminder, it's a plan goal. Reminder, it's a plan goal. Over and over. And then, okay. Uh, this is not my favorite thing. White stickers are not my favorite thing. And circle stickers are not my favorite thing. But I did find some good uses for these like in the past. Like I've put my lesson number and piano lessons in them. And it's nice too if you have a darker sticker and you can't really write on it that well to put something white on top of that. Like if you have a big darker sticker, um, a white sticker on top of that is a super functional idea. But they come in different fonts. So you've got the cursive look on rows one and two, or columns one and two, and then you've got that nice fat print font in columns two and four. They say, you've got this, make it happen, dream big, and do your thing. And that is yellow gold. And then I like this page. This is just a bunch of text in silver foiling. You get weekend, ignite your passion and find your calling, vacation, let's go and live in the moment, let's celebrate. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine, get away, you've got this. Um, the more you dream, the more you achieve. Stay strong and believe in yourself. Connect, create meaning, make a difference. Reminder, let's celebrate weekend. This is a neat sheet. I like that. Ooh, this is cool. This is another kind of big box thing. This would work good on a dashboard page or in a daily duo, I think, um, or on a notes page. And they're pretty. So they have rose gold metallic on them. And then here are, this is a new shape. This just looks like a window to me where it's, it's you know, an arch window or something. How wide are those? They're about an inch and a quarter wide. Inch and a quarter wide. Okay, so they will easily fit inside your vertical column. And then these are also going to be an inch and a quarter wide. And then you get these circles. I really like the circles. They're ice blue with the little pops of color in collage and some habit trackers. And then this feels like the last page. No, it's the next to last page. Circles, create, motivate, inspire, today, dream, plan, believe, note, and then these are more just blank. And then some more big boxes. I like these little colors here, the colored lines on that one. This is silver foiling. And then, yay, more of this. I'm just calling it confetti, but I know it's collage, but it looks like confetti. These have a rose gold metallic on them and they are washi stickers. I can tell by the feel. Those are super pretty. Okay, that is the Harmony sticker book. Now let's look at the In Bloom sticker book. It's accented with rose gold metallic on the front. It says flowers remind us that we can bloom where we are planted. That's great. Bloom where you are planted in whatever circumstance you find yourself. All right, here we go. So this one starts right off the bat with what I think was the second page in the 
harmony version. So you've got just beautiful little floral circles and asterisks, rose gold metallic, the rounded corner event boxes or headers. Oh, pretty. I bet these are washi. I've become more of a fan of washi stickers. I didn't like them at first because they're hard to peel off. I mean, let's be honest. When you find the edge, then it's no problem. But, you know, if you're not used to washi stickers, it's a little hard to peel off. But they are so beautiful on the page, and they don't bulk up your planner. These are gorgeous. And that is yellow gold foiling. And then you get half circles and little uh, floral accents or branches that are silver, little asterisk circles, floral circles that are a little bit larger, and event stickers with a metallic header. And those are about an inch and a half wide, maybe just shy of an inch and a half. And then the big box stickers that you can use on your dashboard or on a notes page or in your daily duo or wherever you feel like using it. And then this is yellow gold. This is beautiful. So you get four different colors of stickers. And then your gold metallic stickers in the middle say important shopping list dinner plans. And then that circles again around to repeat. And then we're on silver here. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this page. I love the cool tones on this page. And these text uh, metallic stickers say, reminder, it's a plan and goal, just like in the Harmony book. And then here is probably somebody's favorite sheet, not my favorite sheet, but the white circles, goal, dream, plan, and note. And then gorgeous quotes. Now keep in mind, if you like these quotes, you wanna have good eyesight. I have a hard time reading the flora font, honestly, but at least the flora font is a little bit larger here than um, I've seen it before. The smaller words are just in a, a nice standard typeset. So ignite your passion and find your calling. Let's go and live in the moment, vacation, create your own happiness. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine and live fully in the season you are in. So much of the same text that was in the other one. And these are yellow gold. Then beautiful sheet of large stickers here. And these are cool tones, very beautiful silver metallic. And then you've got those arch windows and habit trackers. And these are beautiful. These are truly beautiful. And then the circles are such a pale gray that they almost look white. And the foiling on this is rose gold. I mean, just really, really beautiful. Feminine, I think, really pretty. Create, motivate, inspire, um, dream, plan, believe. Yellow gold accents on these larger boxes. And then we get silver washi stickers with all of the little branches. And um, let's go ahead and peel one off. Getting it started is the hardest part, but then they're a dream. They're just beautiful. Silver metallic, and these are white. And that's the last sheet. So this is the In Bloom Sister of Flora sticker book. So now let's, put, let's make some sets. Those look nice together, don't they? I should mention before we leave the concept of stickers entirely that you can buy the stickers that come in the back of each life planner separately. So these are the stickers from the back of the Colorful Harmony. And it's the exact same stickers. They're not punched for the coil. They're just flat sheets. This large size fits perfectly into one of those page protectors that I showed you earlier for the binder. And then these are the same stickers that were in the back of the In Bloom vertical, compact vertical um, agenda that I showed you. You can buy those separately. So this is a two pack here. This is a four pack. I think we should go right to the sticky notes next and there's some news here. Okay, so here is the backing for each package. Look closely. 
do you notice a change in the layout of these sticky notes? The tab is now at the top. The coiling is here. The way these used to be was that this was more of a horizontal layout. And the tab is at the top now. But here's what's even more exciting. In this set, it's punched for the A5 agenda. So, you know, last year how we all, or lots of us, took our sideways snap-in sticky notes and we trimmed off the coil, we rearranged the sticky notes and punched them so that they would fit into our agendas. Well, now they've made it so we don't have to go to all that work. These will just fit right into the agenda. So here is the colorful harmony set. There's a long list pad. All these are sticky notes. And then beautiful, look at this adorable little one. This one, I just like to feel if the whole thing is sticky or if part of it's not. Yeah, part of it is not sticky. A little, little banner there. One of these little arch window stickers. This one might be all, no, not all sticky. There's a little bit of this one that's not sticky. All right, so here's what it looks like. And the coil is over here. So let's go ahead and put this into my new life planner. Okay, so here's the idea. You know, this is jam-packed because it's 18 months. I am going to remove the last six months, so it won't be as jam-packed then. But here's how these work. You can choose to either do this or not, but you can put a tab here at the top. You know, you can put, put this on anywhere you like so the tab's not sticking out. But if you want to mark a day or a month or a dashboard, you just put it where you want it, and it serves as a bookmark this way. And look how easily that just snaps in. Isn't that great? Now let's close it and take a look. Yep, that sticks out the top so it's a perfect bookmark. And so that way you've got your sticky notes on the go. I love sticky notes. And this fits in your sidebar perfectly. And let's see how it fits on the hourly column very nicely. Let's just go ahead and place them all so we can see how they fit. This one's a little bit more slender. And then this little pretty blue one looks like this. And the arch window. I just feel like a kid and I'm playing with new toys right now. Can you tell? Arch window. And let's take this little one here, which is kind of like a header. You know, you could put so-and-so's birthday on that. That's almost like a sticker. Very little of that does not have the sticky backing on it. That one's more like a sticker. And then you've got a circle, and the circle has lines on it. So can you see the lines? That one fits like that. And then we've got one that points. So let's say we want to call attention to something. You know, this is such and such is going to happen at 11.30. We'll just point to 11.30. And then this is a cute little one. Cute. Now, this one can go either way. Let's put it sideways. And then this one is another cutie. Can go either way. Very nice. I love it. So, the beauty of this is if you had an A5 that's coiled, I think this is going to work in your A5 coil planner. And these little itty bitties are going to fit your like monthly view, I think. So uh, keep that in mind. Those are so, so cute. I love that they did this. I much prefer it at the top. And this is pretty too. I hate to throw that away. I feel like I should frame this or something. Okay, here we are. It could fit right here on the monthly view. Before we change, let's see if this fits. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. In the A5 size monthly view, these little baby stickers are so cute. Let's see if they all fit. I think they will because they're lined up like they're the same width. Um, this one is larger. So that would fit in the like hourly column of the full size life planner. Like it would fit like this. But let's, let's keep our themes together. So this is kind of big for that, but you could use it somewhere in here. You could use it on your notes page. You could use it easily on one of these. On the compact vertical, this is going to be another one that's a little bit wider. Well, you know what? It fits. 
It's just a smidge wider, but it covers a whole day. So we'll, we'll count that. What else would you call this besides an arch window? I just think that name fits. So there's how it looks. It's a little bit taller than what you would need on the monthly view, a little bit wider, but let's see what it looks like. Over here, you know, you could put it in a corner. You could do like this, this, like that, or sideways. Really, there's no rule. No rule, just, you know, use these however you would use sticky notes. Oh, that's really, really cute. Really cute. And then you've got these little header stickers. You know, they fit this column perfectly or they fit the size of this box perfectly. What a neat set of sticky notes. I really like these. Okay, now let's go ahead and put it in and go like that. And then see how it looks. Stick out like this and be kind of a page marker for you. So you can go right to that spot. If you don't like to open and close your rings, you can always cut slits. Like, let me show you what I've done. Here are my Flora sticky notes from last year, and hit, this is the old style. So it came like this, and it had a coiled edge right here. And all of the sticky notes were oriented so that this was up and this was down. So what I did was I turned it this way, took all of the sticky notes off, repositioned them, punched six holes, and then I also cut slits beside the holes. So I actually don't have to open the rings to use this. I can just go like this. And then I have my Erin Condren tab at the top. So the difference is that the alignment, the tab was over here and now the tab's over there. So both functional, I can use them both. Not that I would necessarily want to, but isn't it great how Flora matches in bloom? Flora 2.0 but just the narrower size of this compared to this one. It's not a custom fit the way this one is. It's just so cute, so cute. Okay, this is really, really cute. Let's see what other accessories we have. Well, there's this guy. Look right here. I just, I, I have never tried this before. Maybe somebody else has, but the magnetic, super strong magnet, little page marker bookmark thingies fit in this agenda pocket. Look at that. That is so cool. And we could put it the other way if we want to have our to-do list and priorities. This has rose gold accent on it. And you just write on these with either a wet erase marker or a permanent marker. I, in this case, if I were to put it up here, I would definitely use a permanent marker. I wouldn't have anything written on that side when I slide it in just to be careful because I wouldn't want it to smudge off on my agenda but I would use a Sharpie on this, and then you can always remove it with an alcohol wipe. Look how great that is. A to-do list right on the front of the agenda. And did I show you yet? I can't even remember because there's so much going on, and I'm so excited. Did I show you that there's no page lifter needed to close perfectly in the case of the agenda? You just don't need one. So this is a magnetic page marker comes in Flora, and I bet you there's some others too. I mean, the ones that came out last year will still be available, but then there's this new one, super beautiful. Okay, tucks in right there too, but I'm just, I'm nuts about this. Re and it'll stay where you want it because it's so magnetized, like it can stay up here. It doesn't have to go all the way down in this pocket. How about the classic set of three mini snap-in bookmarks. Here is Harmony and here is In Bloom. They work best with coil planners. Let's just use them as they're intended. Okay, here is the In Bloom set. One of them is sort of grayish, lilac. This one is peach. And this is like a, um, a rosier purple. Um, purpley rose so there are the three colors and then they are accented with rose gold metallic foiling and then the ones that are in colorful harmony the harmony ones are not metallic just make note of that not metallic these are the colors on the back these are probably the most glamorous between the two there could be some color blend ones too so check the website for that 
but I would like to just put these in my new coiled um, Harmony planner. So they just pop in. You just kind of work it around the coil and they pop in and they are a page marker that way. So I think this will be a nice page to be able to reference really quickly. You could do the current month that you're in. So let's pretend we're in January. And the way you pop it on is like this. And it is a kind of stiff fit. So I don't recommend taking this in and out, but I do have a hack that's amazing. If you do like to move these in and out and, and just like switch them up every single week and put them in the current week, I recommend doing the hack. So I have a video called Personalizing or Customizing Your Snap-In Accessories. So check out that video. I have lots of ideas for snap-in accessories. So let's pretend that's our current month. And then let's say we also want to mark the notes page. Let's say there's a certain notes page that I want to reference throughout the year. Then I could have one of these in here. And it works just fine like this without doing any changes to it if it's not something that you're going to take in and out all the time. So they're sticking out right here. See that? So I can just easily go to that notes page, or let me zoom out. I can easily go to the current month, pretending this is January, or I can easily go to my year at a glance. So those are a very handy accessory. To customize them, what you're going to do is get like a paper cutter and trim off this coiled part. And this is if you want to remove it and put it back in in different places over and over and over again. And then you're going to add what's called a coil clip connector. And Erin Condren sells those. They have um, a sticky surface by 3M. And those are more like this sort of plastic that's more pliable. And it, like this kind, goes on and off of the coil a whole lot easier. See how easy that was? That was so much easier. So, you know, this one you can remove and put back in over and over again. These not so much. These are more like, I would say, a permanent page marker. So customize it the way I'm showing you if you want to take it in and out. That's just my tip on those. If you wanna just decorate with these, you could trim this off and you could tuck them in here and just use them as a straight edge or something while you're writing. They wouldn't have to be a bookmark but I would make it a straight edge on both sides and do my best to round it off so it just looked really perfect all the way around. But these are gorgeous. I, I really wanna find something to do with these in my agenda, because that's so cool. If you have any ideas, be sure to let us know down in the comments so we can all take advantage of your ingenuity and creativity. Here is kind of a new take on something we've had for a while. It's a universal Snap-In Weekly Schedule Dashboard. Now let's see why it says it's universal. Wet and dry erase, two-sided, reusable, and repositionable. It fits all our coiled notebooks and planners, including A5. Okay, so I don't have an A5 planner that's coiled, but I do have an A5 notebook, so we're gonna put that to the test. Here's what it looks like. It's silver and gold. And, and I mean yellow gold. There's gold here where it says priorities and there's silver here where it says to do. Silver lines, gold lines. And then this side is a weekly schedule. So alternating days are yellow gold and the other alternating days are silver. Isn't that neat? And it's the Harmony design, the neutral Harmony design, but it is kind of colorful. Okay, let's test it in both size coiled books. Here's an A5 notebook. So let's test it. All right, it's a little taller than the notebook. Let's compare it to the cover itself. Okay, it's exactly the same height as the cover. All right, so this is going to work. That's a nice wide dashboard this is so cool or a list pad again you can write on this with wet erase markers or a sharpie actually Erin Condren has a set of wet erase markers if you want some beautiful ones in nice colors but a sharpie is a great alternative or any other permanent marker because it will come off with an alcohol pad all right so let's see what it looks like in a seven by nine coil book 
I'm getting really excited about one thing, even though I'm sad to lose the hourly binder. Okay, I'm a little bit sad about that. But I'm excited to get to use some of the accessories that don't work as well with the binder. Okay, there you go. Works really well there. So it's not quite as, you know, it doesn't reach the bottom of the page. And it functions a little as a bookmark. So you can see it peeking out right here. So you can use that as a bookmark. Let's see what else we have. How about a Colorful Harmony Ultimate Planty Pack? You know what? I get so excited about the packaging on Planty Packs because the cardboard on the back is so thick, and I can't wait to see what the design is. Okay, so here it is, and you've got kind of a felt pocket, and look at the detail here. They have put like an aqua color edging on it, even though the felt pocket inside is white. They have put this aqua or lagoon color here and look at the lagoon zipper area, gold hardware. Now let's see what that backing is like. Well, no message on it at all, that's different. It usually has a message on it. So maybe this could just be art. I'm a sucker for Erin Condren packaging, that's all I can say. So I've got kind of a Harmony art gallery going. So if we wanna take our pens, washi tapes, rulers, or stickers, or anything else along with us on the go, now you don't have to use this with a planner, but I'm gonna start with its planner uses. This is a great add-on to get. Look at that beautiful lagoon interior. That's beautiful, and it's got two pockets, a nice Erin Condren logo right there, so we can tuck anything we want to into this. I mean, even a pair of scissors. That might cut my fabric if I did that. I don't know, but look how pretty. Oh, wow. That's super pretty. I could put that in there. I mean, it's just whatever. Pens, pens would be the main thing, probably. All right, so let's zip this up. And it's called an ultimate planty pack as opposed to just a planty pack because it has this improved design where the zipper stretches around the corner, meaning that you can easily put larger or wider items into it. The previous planty pack, the zipper started here and ended you know, here just like this, but it ended the same way on this side. So it was a little bit trickier to get into, like if you wanted to put something large in there, it was just a little bit trickier. You could do it, but it was a little bit trickier. This way you can open up and really see what's in it. But planty packs make great bags for your handbag, like putting makeup in there or just anything. If you wanna organize what's in your handbag, I think planty packs are great for that. So here is how this Ultimate Planty Pack looks on the Vegan Leather Harmony cover. Looks really good. I've just hooked it on the cover itself, but you can use it to keep your planner closed. So this will fit all the way around. The elastic is super stretchy and thick, durable. And now you don't have to worry about your planner flying open when you're on the go or coming to and from the office. It keeps it closed. It's just a terrific thick elastic strap. You can tuck something in there easily. It's a really neat design. So this is called the Ultimate Planty Pack. Next up, brand new washi tapes. And look, instead of a two pack, which is what we've been used to, we get a four pack. Let's open these up. This is my washi tape sample book. And you know, after I open the package, this is all on one roll. I thought this was two skinny washies, but you know what? It's not. It is a striped washi. Look at that. Okay, so let's lay these down and see what they look like on paper. Let's start with In Bloom and watch it come alive when you press it down. Isn't that nice? Okay, and I like to cut my washi tape with a little handy scraper. And then let's try this one. Gorgeous. This is like ice blue. I love that one. And then there's this kind of graph paper one. Here we go. Hold it up close for you. And then the striped one that has yellow gold or rose gold. I can't tell. I think it's more of a copper gold, honestly, between rose gold and yellow gold. That's a neat look. So it's paired with a very pale peach. 
Okay, so I think what we need to do actually before we go over to the next set is compare to last year's Flora washi because on the surface, these look super similar. So let's compare. So it is definitely a different look. Would you agree? Definitely a different look. Only the base color is similar, but even that is not exactly the same. So here, there's that kind of pinkish one. Here's last year's. So it is not the same thing. It's like the design is more intricate and it's it's smaller. It's a smaller scale design on last year's. So there's last year's Flora set compared to this year's In Bloom set. Now let's turn the page and take a look at the Harmony set. Here's what it looks like on the air and I guarantee you when we put it on the page, it's going to pop. Or I don't guarantee it, but I think it, and sure enough, it did. The colors were deeper once we pushed it down. And let's see these colors get a little darker when we push it down. Okay, so here is a look up close at those two. That color is gorgeous. It's prettier than on the roll. Look how dark it is here. And then look how bright it is on the page. That one is gorgeous. I love that color. Let me hold it up for you. Look at the difference here. You know, on the roll, look how dark it looks. And it's super bright there. I like that. This is more of a yellow gold and a pink. So let's see how dark that pink is when we place it. It's a hot pink. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, I like this set. I, I think this is my favorite of the two sets, but it probably depends on the mood that I'm in, honestly. I just, right now, I'm digging bright colors, probably because I'm so excited about spring. But here is the In Bloom washi tape set, much more toned down, okay? In Bloom and Harmony. Okay, beautiful. Check it out. We've got the new dual tip, dual ink markers in a larger set than what we've had before. So this is a set of 12, and on the back it says accent colors, two tips, two functions, two colors for every marker, write, highlight, underscore, and more. So there's fuchsia, <laughs> there's fuchsia with peony, and then there is coral with salmon, hot pink with light pink, tangerine with butter, moss with spruce, teal with mint, mermaid with lagoon. Now that's fitting. I like the titles there. Navy with turquoise, royal blue with dusk, violet with lavender, iris with lilac, black with slate. We're not going to take their word for it, though. We're going to do ourselves a pen test. Okay, so we're going to start with fuchsia and peony. And one side will be a fine tip like this. The other side will be a chisel tip. So fuchsia, they totally don't spell it the way I'm used to spelling it. I always have this problem. And you know they're not wrong. There's more than one way to spell fuchsia. Did you know that? And then peony right there. This one's going to be coral and salmon. I love that. Just kind of like an orangier version of peony. Hot pink and light pink. And next up we have butter and tangerine. Ooh, that's cool. This one is moss and spruce. Okay, that's spruce. Let's talk for a minute because uh, some of you might have to go because this is going to go on for like 10 hours. There are some free gifts with purchase and I, I need to show you those. So I'm going to do that after the pen test. So just zip past the pen test and go to the free gifts with purchase during launch while supplies last if you want to see that. But that is coming up. All right, so this one is going to be teal and mint. That's got to be backwards, don't you think? Like, this go, these words go here. These words go there. 
It's gotta be. The next one is Mermaid and Lagoon. Oh, I didn't really do that right. Okay, beautiful. Navy and Turquoise. It's beautiful, I love that one. Love that one, and Lagoon is also beautiful. Royal Blue and Dusk. It has kind of a purple look. Yeah, that's beautiful. Violet and Lavender. Nice. Iris and Lilac. It's like these just have a little bit more pink to them than the previous two. Black and Slate. It's probably going to be pretty dark. Indeed it is. Okay. So I'm going to hold these up close for you. And then I know we need to do that test to see if the markers smear when we put highlighter on top of them. So here are the colors. I'm, I'm trying to tilt it so the light hits these well. Okay, maybe you can see them all now. All right. Did not smear. Did not smear. That one did not smear. And now might be where we're coming to the one that was backwards. This is going to really be, even though it says mint, this is going to be spruce because they were backwards. That did not smear. This one is really mint. No smearing, and that's a really pretty combo. Lagoon, highlighter on top of mermaid, writing. No smear. Turquoise on top of navy. Lavender highlighter on top of violet. Looks good. Lilac on iris, slate on black. Okay, so the reason I'm pulling this one out is so we can test it while the ink is still wet, all right? So this is going to be teal. Not gonna let it dry, go straight to the highlighter. Well, it looks good. That looks good, see? It did not smear. Now you have to reverse these two. Don't get confused by that. I am I am confused, but maybe you won't be. These really, the words don't go with the colors there. Okay, that's better. There you are, and this was when the pen was still wet. So, isn't that pretty? I love all those colors, that's pretty. So this is the dual tip, dual ink markers. Okay, free gifts with purchase. I've got two gifts here. I've got a tote bag that is in the Harmony Colorful Pattern. It says, let go and live in the moment. And this is a pretty large tote bag, pretty large. I mean, if I were to hold my 12 inch ruler with it, it would be larger than that. So this is 12 inches here, or is it more than, no, it's 12. And then let's add what appears to be two and a half inches. So it's 14 and a half inches across. And this is gonna be, there's 12 and 13, 14, 15 and a half. So 15 and a half tall, okay? And it doesn't have like a side to it really. It's, it's just going to open up. Um, you see what I'm saying? It's just like the seam right there. And this probably says something. Um, not really. Okay. So this is a free gift with purchase, and then this guy is a free gift with purchase. So let's see what this is. One of these is for EC Insiders on Insider Launch Day, which is going to be April 25th. The general population um, launch day is for the 26th. Now, which one of these is for Insiders? I don't know, I have to look that up. One of these is going, and both of them also would just be while supplies last, okay? So there is an, a limit to how much. But this, it almost looks like a money clip, but it's like a page marker that has skinny little sticky note flags. And I already pulled one out when I first got the box. So um, once you pull them out, it starts to go like, well, hang on. 
There's two of them. So it looks like that. When you pull one out, it will be facing the other way, like that. See? Isn't that cool? So these are just like page flags, and they're kind of plasticky. They're not papery, they're plasticky. So let's see what this looks like. I don't think it's thick enough to fit on a vegan leather cover, but I could be, yeah, it will, it'll fit. There's all my vegan leather cover. Nice, that fits. And so that tells me maybe you need to do more than one page at a time, but I don't know. Um, it, it's a little bit loose on one page, so you might wanna do like two pages. But that's a neat, handy little thing, especially if you have got to mark where things are. I can use this in piano teaching constantly. I'm constantly marking where a student's piece is that they need to be practicing. So let's see what this, this is so light, but you could write on it probably with a Sharpie, right? You could write on those. I wouldn't write on them with anything but a permanent pen because they're slick. So you can write, sign here, or practice this, read this, whatever. So this is a free gift with purchase, and look how it's color blends there. That design is color blends, and this is kind of hot pink and beige, I think, tan. And it's a silver clip. It says Erin Condren on the bottom. So this is a free gift with purchase. Now, the pur it's not just any purchase. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be a life planner purchase. So... Keep that in mind, a life planner purchase. But look how color blends works really well with Harmony. Works really well with that. Um, how would it look with In Bloom? Not bad at all. It looks actually pretty good. Now this agenda is thicker, so I might be tempted to do that. Oh yeah, super cool. So free gift with purchase, free gift with purchase. If you are an EC Insider, I think you get both of them. And on Insider launch day, you get a day early into shopping. So sometimes things sell out, believe it or not. There's going to be something that everybody's crazy about, and who knows what that's going to be. But I remember when we had launch last year, the Flora Planny Pack and the Flora Little Mini Bookmarks sold out so fast. I, I didn't get any until much later when they had been restocked. Okay, here's how this is going to go. There is a third gift, all right, and I don't have that one, but there's an In Bloom Priority Sticky Notepad and Page Marker Set. So that is a free gift. You can choose between that or the bag. That's for EC Insiders. So you're going to choose this bag, or the In Bloom Priority Sticky Notepad. And then you also are going to get the metal bookmark with the sticky note flags, okay? And these are all valued, this is valued at $10.50, this is valued at $14, and the sticky note set is valued at $10.50. But if you're a rose gold EC insider, you get more choices. So there is the Metallic Flora Pad Folio, and pen five piece set. Now this looks exactly like the rose gold gift to me, but I'm gonna compare it and see if it is exactly the same. So you'll be able to choose between this and the sticky note pad, the In Bloom sticky note pad, or this bag, plus you'll get the metal bookmark. If you're not an insider, you will get the metal bookmark with a life planner purchase as long as supplies last. So let's compare this to the Rose Gold Insider's gift that we received in December and see if it's the same thing. Here is what I received as a Rose Gold Insider as a gift at the end of the year in 2021. And it is a like a hard cardboard chipboard type um, case with a metallic closure. And it does have Rose Gold metallic on the outside. And it comes with a ballpoint pen and a pad, which you can see I've used the pad. I've torn off a sheet and it has page flags and it has square sticky notes. To me, this looks like exactly the same thing. So I think if you're a rose gold insider, you can choose between this, 
the In Bloom sticky note pad that I don't have or this Harmony tote bag and you'll get this. Okay, does that make sense? And I just wanna recap with a couple of things I might not have mentioned. Every planner, not just the one that I showed this with, every life planner comes with a perpetual calendar, okay? So that's this guy. Every life planner comes with this welcome kit that will have your three compliment cards and two 20% off coupons and two gift labels. And every agenda will come in a dust bag, okay? So if you order an agenda, it's going to come in one of these. I also want you to know that you will have your choice of agenda. You won't have to get one with a print on it like the In Bloom one or last year's Mid-Century Circles. You can also have a solid color. So this was the color I used um, last year and I'm still using it. You can see that suede texture here that I referenced earlier. Um, and it's held up really well. Everything about it has held up beautifully. Um, so you'll be able to choose. There's also going to be an agenda in the color blends. And the cool thing is that you can mix and match. So if you want to get a colorful exterior and a neutral interior, you can totally do that. And you can mix and match with the agenda as well. So I think that's a nice perk. Now, if you want a coiled planner, but you like the look of a cover, you can also order this vegan leather cover, which fits the seven by nine coiled books. So my vegan leather um, 18 month coiled life planner that's really jam packed with some extra stuff right now, fits without any difficulty at all in this. It's a nice roomy cover and it's not the same material that you find on this. This is a firmer, in my opinion, this is a, a higher quality um, construction than this is, but this is still nice, especially if you want to cover up your planner and have space for things in little pockets and you know, that good stuff. So I recommend one of these if that's what you're looking for, kind of a mix between a coil planner and the agenda. So these are vegan leather planner or notebook folios. And the way they work is that you just slide the back cover into this and a notepad will fit in here, just like in the back of the agenda. And there's a pocket here. There are two pockets here, one here, and a slender one here. There are certain things that I like better about this one, even though I think the material itself is lighter weight, maybe slightly less expensive in its feel. But what I like better about this one is just the look of the stitching here on this pocket. And I like just the look of the stitching on all of these here, instead of having cut slits like you have in the agenda. Like, let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't mind this, like this is stitched, but this is a cut slit. But it's such a nice, strong vegan leather that it's it holds up really well. But notice how the notepad would fit into this slit. The back of your notepad would fit into here. It's not a stitched pocket the way this one is a stitched on pocket. So there's a difference. This part of it is very similar. It's just like an open flap. Um, and this, it's the same thing here, just an open flap. But this is, um, it's a little more expensive. I mean, it, it feels more expensive and I think it's probably slightly more durable, but this is a nice soft cover for your life planner. You just take that back cover, slide it in there and you're good to go. Load it up with some accessories. Look how pretty all of this stuff is together. Can you tell I'm a planner lover? I'm a planner lover. What can I say? Okay, there will be some bundles available on launch day. There's a Harmony Colorful Bundle that includes a life planner, not with the vegan leather cover. It's going to be the interchangeable cover, but the good thing about that one is that it has metallic accents on it. It also has the gift pen. It has the... Uh, dashboard, snap-in dashboard that I showed you, and the three mini bookmarks, as well as the washi tape set. And that is 
a $112 value, but they have it bundle priced at $85. Likewise, there is a Harmony Neutral, and this answered my question about the pen. There is going to be a Harmony Neutral pen, and the bundle for this is $75. It's a $97 value. It comes with the planner, the pen, that same snap-in dashboard, mini bookmark sets, and there is a Harmony Neutral washi tape set. So that question has been answered. The reason this one is $10 less than this one is because there's a $10 upcharge for that gold coil. This one has a platinum coil, so that reduces the bundle price by $10. There's also an in bloom bundle, so you can get a rose gold coil on that one. I think that's just how it's going to come. And then the mini bookmarks that I showed you, and then a flora snap in dashboard. The not flora, I'm saying flora, but I mean in bloom. Um, the in bloom pen and the set of washi that I showed you a while ago. There's an in bloom mega accessories bundle, which is valued at $65.50. It will be available for $52, and it includes an ultimate planty pack, the washi tape the snap-in dashboard, the mini bookmarks three pack, the sticky notes, and the sticker, sticker book. There's a Harmony Mega Accessories Bundle for $52. It's a $65.50 value. You get sticky notes, the mini snap-in bookmarks, the ultimate planty pack, the sticker book, and the snap-in dashboard and washi tapes. There will be a new cover called Watercolor Stripes. This is really pretty, it's colorful. Um, this is, you know, just kind of a low res image of it, but it's really pretty if you like um, kind of rainbow stripes. And there's a neutral version of this as well. So this is the neutral Watercolor Stripes cover, interchangeable cover. So you'll be able to get it on your life planner or probably just buy it separately. There will be accompanying pencil cases in each of these designs, so the colorful and neutral, and I suspect that we'll be able to get in bloom and harmony, neutral and colorful, and probably color blends in these pencil cases as well. Here's a watercolor stripes sticker sheet. I think that's definitely going to go in my cart. That looks like my style right there, and a neutral version of that sticker sheet. If you want that 12 pack of dual ink, dual tip markers, that is going to run $24.50. That's the full price, not a sale price. So if you wanna wait till they're on sale, that's always kind of a neat idea, I think. That's the, way I, that's the way I roll. And then there is what looks like a new set of colorful gel pens. And this is a 12 pack for $18.50. You'll also be able to get the list markers that have one side that's like an asterisk or a circle, like a checklist circle. The other side is a black pen. It's more like a felt tip marker. And a 12 pack of those is going to be $28.50. I really love this new cover design. It's called Painted Banana Leaves. I really like this one. And um, that is going to be available on your life planner or on a notebook or whatever you wanna put it on. And there will be a Painted Banana Leaves pencil case available for $20 and a sticker sheet. I love this sticker sheet. That's gonna go in my cart for $4.50. And then all of these designs will also be available in stationery. You can either get folded note cards or flat cards, and you can personalize them with your name. And you can get them on notepads, list pads in a variety of sizes. Watercolor Leopard is another new cover design. You can get that on your life planner or on a notebook. You could get the matching pencil case for $20. You could get the Leopard Ultimate Pen Folio. Looky here, Ultimate Pen Folio in Leopard. And then you could get the sticker sheet that matches. That's really cute. Stationery, I know a lot of people love animal prints and notepads. Now, I did not have much in the way of color blends here to show you, but we will be able to get an Ultimate Planty Pack in color blends a pencil case, an ultimate pen folio, snap-in bookmarks, there you go, and note cards and flat cards, gift labels, and a color blends washi tape four pack. So it says 850, that means that these are also going to be 850 for that four pack. And 
You can get color blends on your list pads, on your notepads. The sticker sheet is not the same for color blends as it is for Colorful Harmony, even though it might seem like it is. And then color blends, snap in to-do list and dashboard. And color blends, cut. look at that. I might need one of these color blends covers. Look at that. It looks like when you personalize it, it's metallic. And then a planner folio. And that looks like it for the color blends. Look, color blends is so pretty. Wow. So the um, In Bloom ballpoint pen is going to be $18.50. There are list pads in In Bloom, notepads, and gift labels, and an interchangeable strap for your Erin Condren bags and in bloom sticky notes so we saw the version of this that fits the agenda but this is the coiled in version here's the agenda one and the washi tape 850 for that and then we've got stationery with in bloom and we saw these bookmarks and the sticker book is going to be 1550 the ultimate pen folio is 38 dollars pencil case 20 dollars and the Ultimate Planty Pack is $20. And it looks to me on this Planty Pack that it's going to have like a lilac edge on it where the zipper is. And it looks like rose gold hardware. All right. Harmony Neutral will have a ballpoint pen. We saw that in one of the bundles. It will have an Ultimate Planty Pack, a set of mini bookmarks, and a set of washi tape as well as a Harmony Neutral metallic bookmark or dashboard or both. That's I, You can use it for a bookmark or a dashboard. And then a universal snap-in to-do list. I showed you that. Then look here at your planner folio and sticky notes. These look just like the colorful ones, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll compare. And so you can get those in the kind that fits a coil planner and the kind that is punched for the agenda. And then here's an Harmony Neutral interchangeable cover. And interchangeable cover, interchangeable. What's the difference here? This one is platinum metallic. This is without metallic. So without metallic, it's $8. With metallic, it's $13. And then, of course, you can get your Harmony Neutral Sticker Pack separately. And then if you go with the colorful version of Harmony, there's the ballpoint pen we tried out. We saw the Ultimate Planty Pack. There will be a pencil case. There will be an Ultimate Pen Folio. The sticker book that we looked through. And we saw the mini bookmarks. And then stationery. I'm going to love that stationery. Harmony Colorful is probably my favorite and Harmony Neutral, but I really, it's, it's my favorite right this second. That might change. So the washi tape set is $8.50. And then you can get the Harmony Sticky Notes. I think it's the same. Harmony Neutral and Colorful Sticky Notes, I think they're the same thing. Um, there's the A5 type or the Snap-in type. And then a planner bag strap. Love that. And the cut, look at the cover. It has metallic gold accents on it. I'm probably going to be getting one of these. It says it will come in eight and a half by 11. So I'm probably going to, going to be getting one of these to make my page lifters for my daily binder. And then here's the Harmony Magnetic Dashboard and Harmony Planner Folio. And just beautiful stuff there. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up. If you have any questions, because I'm sure I forgot to address something, you just let me know and I will grab the answer just as fast as I can. This is In Bloom. This is Harmony Colorful. This is Color Blends. And Harmony Neutral is like this. And if you want to compare the vellums while I have both of these out, Colorful Harmony, Neutral Harmony. And the binder this year is available, but it's only available in daily. So keep that in mind. I am switching to a coil for my hourly, and I'm also going to be playing around with this new compact vertical layout. But look how you can mix and match these. 
some, this kind of goes with this. I don't really think these go together, but this goes with this, this goes with this, and I just think everything is beautiful. I think the EC creative team has done a fabulous job once again, and I enjoyed reviewing these thoroughly. So I wanna thank the guys at Erin Condren um, for allowing me to be a part of this review squad. It was a pleasure, and I am, I mean, I'm already so excited now. I don't want to wish my time away, but raise your hand if you can't wait for July 1st because you want to dive into these new planners, right? But I love my existing. I have a mid-century circles um, binder that is my weekly, and I'm going to just savor those uh, last few months with my weekly binder. It's been really nice. I don't know if they'll bring it back one day, but be sure if you are one of those people who's disappointed that there's not a weekly binder option, make sure you fill out that survey that they send out every year because they really pour over those survey results. But having said that, I'm kind of excited to get to try a vegan leather coiled life planner. So, I mean, I'm not super disappointed. I still have a binder that I can use for my daily. So I'm just shifting from A5 daily to seven by nine daily. You know, it's fine, it's fine. And I am really excited. It might turn out that compact vertical is my favorite after I try that for a while. So I really appreciate you hanging out with me. This is like I said, one of the funnest videos that I get to do each year. And um, I look forward to launch day and I will see you again soon. Bye. -bye.